Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In today's video, we discuss one more utility of ServiceNow which is Script Tracer. This Script Tracer is a fantastic utility for you. Because using this, you can save your time, you can save your work. And it will help you in developing a first class error free solutions. This is the article which I have published on ServiceNow Spectacular. You can go through this article as well to understand each and every nitty gritty of Script Tracer service now. Okay, so now let's show you the Script Tracer here. Under System Diagnostics, we have Script Tracer. Click on it. Immediately it will launch the window with the Script Tracer. Okay, you have to start it just. Click on Start Tracer. So now if you do any kind of UI transaction, it will capture all the trace. So while tracing, it will capture all the server side scripts which are running on that particular transaction and keep a count and everything for you here in this window. Let me show you. Let's go to incident table. Let's open it. Okay, so now if I open any of the incident, let me show you. So this incident is opened in front of you. It means a kind of UI transaction. So let's go to script tracer. You see, so you see here while this incident is opened or you say loaded in front of you, these two type of files get triggered or get executed. The window is a bit shaking. Let me stop the tracer. Let's see if it will stop it. Okay, the shaking stopped. Thank God. Okay, so just focus here. So here it is clearly seeing that when this incident loads, these are the two files which get executed and it is actually the same file, but the line numbers are different. It means it means it is providing you the script as well as the line number which get executed. This is the most important thing because let's say in the script of around thousand lines, if you get the lines which get executed while that transaction it will narrow down your debugging and it will be a great help, right? So let me click on it. So as soon as I clicked on it, I will see the state here which, which will provide me on that incident which field changes from old value to new value. So only one field changes that is actual elapsed time. This is a field on the task SLA table, okay? As well as in the next tab that is script, you will find out the line number which get executed. So line number 646 get executed. Okay, this one. And then we have the transaction tab where you see all the like system related information like instance, address, query count, thread, all this information. Not much useful as a developer, but still you have the information here. So you see here. Let me do one more transaction. Let me start the tracer. And let me update this incident. Let me save it now. There are around five more things which get executed and you will see each and every one of it. You see the file name save which runs and it is a UI action. Okay, and which line get executed line number one then you have this error here just focus This is the test variable scope to business rule and in that business rule line number four get executed So let's go there click on it in the state You will see the error which is coming here It is saying that G is not defined and in the script you will see the script here. So deliberately I have placed double E between GS. So GS was the object, but GWS is not an object. That's why it is not defined here. Okay. So that's how it is picking up all such kind of errors. Any type of syntax error, any type of logical error is also likely to get caught because it will narrow down the search by telling you which all line get executed. So there you focus on only those lines and get the error as soon as possible. If you want to see the file, you have to click on view file. Okay, it will open that particular file for you. If you want to debug it by using script debugger, you can do so here. Okay. How to use this script debugger? We will see in some different video, but for the time being, I think you have understood what is script tracer. This is very much useful. You can try it. You can feel it and let us know how was your experience in the comment section. So I hope this is it for today's script tracer. 
See you in next video. Thank you so much. Bye bye.